Uh, I'd like to do Nami into Janna. We also have no AP actually. I could also do Zyra. Or a Lux. I think Zyra. I haven't done Zyra for a little while. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Janna's a little bit weak to poke. Nami's quite good because she can take the W trade from Janna, but also the heal bounces back. Um, but because we need AP, that's something like the Zyra. Works out a little bit nicer. It's a little bit strange to take Janna against, I mean, I guess the Jax pick he kind of walked into that, didn't he? But I was going to say, she didn't know the Jax was going to be there. So, Janna's really good at disengaging from, like, melee. But now we've got three melee champions, so the Janna pick here is actually not that bad for the mid game onwards. Hey Super Trooper, love watching your streams. Thank you very much, dude. Um, I'm a support main and struggle to get out Silver 2. Loving Jan uh, and Nami. Yeah, those are decent champions to play. Just uh, keep at it, honestly. I don't know how many games a day that you're doing, but... Um, the the main issue I see in pe with people that are like... Unranked, iron, bronze, silver in particular, and people saying like they can't climb out, it's just that they're not putting the games in. Um, I'd say like about 80% of the players in that ELO just don't play League enough. And you just kind of need to play the game in order to get better at it. So I'd say like obviously as many games as possible, but if you're doing like three ranked games a week, then it's nowhere near enough to actually be able to climb effectively if that's your main objective. <clears throat> Do I still find Janna boring? Um, it depends on the lane. Like, if I was up against Zyra, I'd find Janna pretty boring to play, because there isn't too much you can do. If I was playing against, like, a Leona, then it would be more interesting, because then you'd be on your toes more often, you're trying to disengage. But if you're playing against, like, another Enchantress Janna, you're going to be in for a bad time anyway. This is... I don't know about this. Wow. You'll have to flash, right? Yeah. Just setting my seeds up for the red buff. She's coming back down for it. So if you just tuned in, we are Masters Promotion Series. One win, one loss. Unfortunately, our second game, we should have won that, but we, yeah, it happens, I guess. It happens. That was our first loss of the day as well, actually. So we've been having a decent league day today, so... Touchwood. This game goes okay. <laughs> I'm always concerned about being level 1 cheesed. I'm just going to wait for the Draven here. He didn't really need to help as much as he did, because I had plants tanking. Oh, Twitch got blue buff with his poison. He's gonna hit level yeah, he just hit level two. Probably didn't need to ward there actually. Unless they stole our blue. It's the only thing I can think of is that they stole our blue. And then they did their own blue. It's going to be quite difficult to land the root on these guys because of the Janna passive and the Janna W. Nice. At least we're landing an okay amount of Qs at the moment. I think I'm dead. 
I'll put an ignite on the switch there. Surprised a little bit that the Draven didn't full commit onto the Jenna in terms of like getting the kill there. I'm surprised Jenna lived. But I guess Draven was hesitant using his um Flash. Okay. Now he does it. I mean I would appreciate him doing that earlier so I would get the assist, but okay. At least he gets to cash out. I don't know, like, I don't know where Talon is, and our jungler's been topside a lot and we haven't seen him. Feels a bit sus, and Twitch keeps running back up the river. Yeah, I don't like this. I should have walked back into it. Okay. I mean, we're up 20 CS too. The Draven overall is playing decently. It's just that I think both supports are going to struggle to get six for quite some time. Let's we'll see how it goes, I guess. Didn't have enough for control, otherwise I would have considered putting another one into this this uh, pixel brush in the river. But yeah, so far it's going pretty well. The Kian is camping top a lot right now. But we've never actually checked our blue buff, have we? I mean, this is slow pushing back to us. We don't have to do anything too nuts. You're getting the slight feeling that this Jenna isn't necessarily a um, support main, or at least comfortable playing Jenna. I'm not sure, but she's been a little bit weird. Okay, so I think they're prepping something for bot then. They just cleared out the river. They put a control ward there, which is kind of unnecessary. So... Seems like Talon's probably going to be down here. I've got a flash coming up soon. I'm happy chilling. It's okay. Make sure that he doesn't come through the lane, because this is going to get pushed in. So. You could do it if you wanted to. My plans are OP or Mountain Drake. They can basically just fully tank it. Yeah. No one got hit by that then.
Okay. Gonna have wards in a second. Shrouded man. <clears throat> I did my W, but I didn't Q. It was just outside of range. if Talon comes down. Okay, good. I mean, they're quite low. Nice. That execute function is still a thing, isn't it, on, um, on Draven's ulti, isn't it? That seemed to be what killed the Twitch. Yeah, what's the, um, is it like one for one extra damage on the Adoration Psych? So like, it'd be one extra damage if it were to be an Execute range? See you, Fluffy. Have a good time at work. Berry reporting. AR4, thank you for the 5.3 sub. Thank you very much. Thanks, Fluffy. Does he still get to cash out when he executes with his ulti? Yes. He should be able to. Yeah, I don't see why not. <clears throat> so, like, for example, if they, he... Say, for example, if Draven had 200 stacks of Adoration... And his ulti flies out, and then it, it would normally would leave Twitch on like 199. The Twitch would get executed, and Draven would also get the gold. For the adora extra gold for the Adoration Stacks. That's at least my understanding of it anyway. Yeah, uh, guess wrong. Got my ulti back up again. Uh, okay, my ult was a bit garbage there, my bad. Whoa. How did I still have tar aggro though? I actually thought I was gonna die there. Again for this. Yeah, it's looking pretty pretty GG at the moment. <laughs> If it stays like this now for the rest of the game, we've basically won, so... Um, do I want to do Ludens here? Yeah, I'm going to do... No, not Ludens. I'm going to do Leandries. Uh, two reasons. So, any, like, little bits of instances of damage helps uh, find the stealth targets that they have on their team. So the Talon and the Twitch, it will, like, do a little shimmer on them. Um, secondly, if this game gets delayed for whatever reason, um... It'd be really nice against the Aatrox. Actually, third reason as well, it's going to help keep off that Malzaha passive for as long as possible too. And hey Raggy, thank you for the 16 months, thank you very much. Uh, the Leandry's damage is still going to be like okay overall. Ludens would be slightly more, but the extra utility that we're going to get here from Leandry's is going to be nice. Uh, 
Okay. That was pretty wood. Okay, luckily Twitch isn't doing more damage. Like if Twitch had a completed item there, that actually legit would have been a bit scary. The problem of being so far ahead though is there isn't really much to do until 20 minutes into the game now. We're kind of twiddling our thing fingers uh, and the main reason you lose games is just like people just getting bored and overextending and looking for kills and stuff. Like Draven for example he's sitting on 1000 gold like if he dies someone's gonna get 1k. Kiana is kind of same situation, 750 gold in her head, so if both of them die in like a crappy team fight, then it's gonna make the game last a lot longer. I'll just check in and to say hi. I think they have effectively opened mid. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I think we could have just ended next push, but whatever. Alright, I guess we just run it down mid now, surely. I think we just end, right? We can just end. They're really, really weak. They're only like str slightly stronger minions, honestly. We could just like just run it down, four people with mid, have just jacks on the side lane. Did I hit master season? Yeah, twice I think already. It's been two or three times. Top now. It's a fight down here.
me mad. Oh no, he didn't kill me? Oh no. What a disaster. Draven might be in a bit of trouble here. It's me! <laughs> oh no. F. So Twitch just got 1000 gold. Oh, it should be fine. Are these primos? Yeah, this is game three. <clears throat> GG. One massive difference between League and Smite actually is that you can buy items as uh, the victory screen is on. You can't do that in Smite. <laughs> It's just something satisfying about being able to buy stuff during that, that animation. None of the Draven, sure. Draven. Yeah, not much to say about that one, really. It was... They had a spicy kill early, but apart from that, that, that was it, really. GG!